Hi folks, Dave, The Honest Audiophile. This is the FIO BTA30 Pro, and these are my Honest Audiophile impressions. I want to thank Oppos Audio for providing the FIO BTA30 Pro for review. To greatly appreciate it, Oppos, you rock. All right, so the FIO BTA30 Pro costs you about $130 on Oppos website, and it looks like this. More about that in a moment. You do get some accessories. You get a USB to USB-C cable. You get RCA cables. You get some rubber feet. And you get some paperwork. Now it does come with a very thick user's manual and I highly recommend that you use that as it will explain things a lot better than I explain also on the website for Oppos and for FIO, there will be a lot more information describing things. All right, so the FIO BTA30 Pro. Got a couple selector buttons here in front. You have a switch, which will take it from transmitting to receiving to DAC. And then you have a volume. On the back side, you have your Bluetooth antenna, USB-C, optical in and out, coax in and out, and RCA out. The FIO BTA30 Pro, this uses Bluetooth 5.0, has a Bluetooth chip of CSR8675. It will transmit and receive SBC, AAC, Aptex, Aptex HD, and LDAC does have a DSP chip in it and that is a CT7302. It has a DAC chip which is a Sabre ES9038Q2M. It will decode using optical. It will decode 2496 and on coax it'll do 24384 and DSD-128. And then with USB, it'll do 32.384 and DSD-256. Inputs are Bluetooth, USB-C, optical and coax. Outputs are Bluetooth, RCA, optical and coax. And it has an SNR of about 118 decibels. Overall, I find that it's very small, very light, weighs about five grams. It's somewhere in about the five by two by one inch size bracket and won't take up much space. In RX mode or receiving mode, you can connect your uh, phone or music player and it'll then you can uh, use it to connect to any of your non-Bluetooth devices through any of the outputs on the back. In TX mode, which is a transmitting mode, you can take any of the digital inputs, which are optical or coax or USB-C and transmit Bluetooth out. And then in the DAC mode or decoding mode, you can take your USB-C optical or coax and use it as a DAC and then RCA it out. And I find that overall the FIO offers a whole lot of options for a small package. But how does the FIO BTA30 Pro sound? But before we discuss that, first I have to mention what I used it with. I did not really use the FIO BTA30 Pro much in Bluetooth mode. I did test it, I did try it, and I did connect it um, to my Bluetooth speakers, which here are in the back, the Monoprice MM5Rs. And I did use it uh, in that way as a receiver and as a transmitter. But also, I mainly used it with 
RCA outs going into the Monoprice MM5Rs and also into the Headamp GSX Mini. So I used it mostly as a USB DAC. Bluetooth worked for me, sounded fine, had no issues with connectivity, did everything that it was supposed to do, but I found that overall the better presentation and just the more pleasurable experience was using the FIO BTA30 Pro as a USB deck. Soundwise, the FIO BTA30 Pro is a very pleasant, slightly warmer sounding deck. And I found that the bass on the FIO BTA30 Pro was adequate. It didn't quite have the punch and the slam and the body that I was looking for, especially when using the Monoprice MM5Rs. And I always found that I had to take the Monoprice MM5Rs and boost the bass just slightly. And that enhanced the experience, gave a little bit more body, a little bit more note weight, and just an overall more pleasurable bass. I got more slam, more punch to the overall experience. But... When I used it with the GSX Mini, it sounded okay. It still just lacked a little bit in bass. It just didn't quite drive like I was hoping for. In the mids, the mids have a very, very cohesive and balanced approach. They're not too elevated and they're not too recessed. And they're just about right where they should be. They do lack just a little bit of body. But overall, they have nice clarity to them and in a natural tone. The treble is slightly tipped. It is a little bit elevated and it can get into hot mode on occasion. I found that the BTA 30 Pro's treble had a slight unnatural sound to it. It was a little too elevated and it just sounded a little too shimmery and glary and glassy at times. But for the most part, it was okay. It wasn't my favorite part of the Sonic sound of the BTA 30 Pro. Sound stage wise, it does a very good job with imaging and placement and has okay depth and layering. And I found that the FIO BTA 30 Pro has a good overall sound signature that I can live with. And when I compared it to the other DACs that I have on my desk, anything from the very small Lava Audio DS400 to the IFI Zen V2 signatures, and also the MyTech Liberty DAC, the SMSL SU9N, I found that in the Odyssey Deckard, I found that the FIO BTA30 Pro was okay. It didn't compete with the higher end DACs. It didn't have the clarity. It didn't have the resolution. It didn't have the detail retrieval or the body or the punch or the slam of the MyTech or the SMSL or the IFIs. But the Lava Audio DS400, which comes in at around $100, and the FIO BTA30 Pro sounded very similar. And I thoroughly enjoy both of them. I think for the price tags, the FIO BTA30 Pro DAC is very comparable. Are you going to get the most advanced and ooey gooey hi-fi experience ever with the BTA30 Pro? No. But will you get one that leaves you lacking and desiring more? No. It's a very comparable and very quality DAC for the price point. And it does so many other things that not too many other DACs can compete with it as far as the capabilities, inputs, outputs, and transmitting and receiving Bluetooth. I find that the FIO BTA30 Pro is a very good DAC and a Bluetooth experience that kind of changed my mind into thinking I might be able to use Bluetooth at my desk more often than I currently do. It's been Dave, the Honest Audio File. Thank you for watching. 
and I'll catch you on the next video. Speaking of next video, somewhere on the screen, subscription links, notification bells. If you haven't already, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down to the video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bells and all kinds of other good things. Down below, there's information regarding gear recommendations and music that was used in the reviews and all kinds of other things listed down below. And don't forget to enjoy the music and honesty is the best policy.